All right, well, it's been a little bit rainy, but the sun come out and I've been doing a lot more gardening. Um, while the sun is, while the ground is wet, I can usually move that, and when it's dry, I rake the driveway. Anyway, working on the bike this is the next little project. <clears throat> it runs now, but the gearing's a little bit high. It's a single speed. Eventually, change that so it does a little better on the hills. But I'll probably be using that a lot more around here. We kind of get the place is nice for it. You can see things are starting to green up. Over here is the south berm with the solar array, which needs to get redone. I need a better panel. I'm kind of temporarying that until I get something up on this berm. I think it's only going to be about two foot tall and then wide is the way I'm going to go with it. So less wind load and all that. Um, this is going away and that greenhouse over there is also going away soon. But that's later once I get through digging. Here's my extra old carpet that I just pulled up from here that I used to level um, for the winter to park on so the van wouldn't sink in. And it'll be going in the driveway up front here in a moment, and I'll show you where that is. And as we go along, as you can see, there's different cabins. I'm supposed to be having some manure coming soon, and I'm hoping to put that all in front of these cabins, like this, and then plant a bunch of wild, wild sunflowers in them so all the little cabins will have sunflowers in front of them. This over here is kind of like the entrance to the bat cave, I guess. Um, down here is where I normally park my van. I'm not right now because I just got through unloading stuff out of it, but um, when I put it there, you can't see that I'm home or not from the front gate. So, which is where we're headed now, down the driveway, which I've been raking out quite a bit, as well as making little trails and stuff with all the rocks that come out of it. There we go. Boom more trails in the woods. This entire field I raked out for the first time in years this year and planted a bunch of sunflowers and those berms back there over here I'm planting I've planted potatoes and carrots and stuff in and I'm going to top that with horse manure which is coming hopefully soon. Um, more berms I'm creating here along the side of the road. Eventually all the berms will have either trees or shrubs of some kind on them but while I'm conditioning, mixing it together with the other soil, I might grow some root vegetables in them while they're still low. Anyway, we come along here to the corner. I just started raking this out this year. And there you can see there's the tarp that kind of hides the van, which is half underground. The other half is above ground, and that kind of takes care of that. So you can't see it from the thing. And there's a tent I'm testing. First field I'm getting ready to break out. This is kind of fun to go over, this whole the ramp thing here on the corner is kind of fun to go over with a bike. Same thing down all these trails. Fence posts. To put the fence up once we get <clears throat> overnight temperatures above freezing. Unfortunately, the laundry bucket still is frozen in the morning. Um, as you can see, this is me raking more, more trails. And then we get finally over here to like the front gate. We're getting closer anyway. This is where the next load of manure is going. I'll probably lower, raise this up some and get it more green and then plant something in here. And then along the edges of this road on both sides are going to get raised up with more manure and whatnot so that there's trees on either side of the road and it kind of makes these little fields kind of private from the road. Anyway, so come down here. I've been raking and digging here a lot. Everything comes downhill to this one point, so this week I've been kind of working on this side road here so that when this tra field drains, which it will when it rains, it comes out through here, into this, and then down here and into the trench. And all the dirt that I displace goes to where we're leveling that path and that, whatnot. And eventually this, what gets down in here, I'm going to have a rock wall similar to this one. And we're just going to continue it against the back of that trench once I scoop it out a little bit further back so that the wall is leaning at about a 30 to 45 degree incline so I don't need to use mortar. I can just have like vetch and weeds and stuff growing out of it. And then in front of it will be gravel. And then of course a drain pipe through here comes down to the walkway. <clears throat> and the walkway will have mulch, pine straw, something like that on it to kind of catch all the water before it makes it into the seasonal pond. Right now though, I'm trying to actually catch all the mud that comes out of the gravel. 
So this is where the mud comes, but it comes out of the gravel. So I'm hoping that the using that mud over here to seal the banks of this hole which I used to get at least some of the gravel out of so that it eventually it'll hold water and you can see how it gets muddy and thick down there and that's usually where the water sits so without that um, the water keeps going this is 120 feet of gravel after you get down about three feet on this dirt so everything dries up and gets horrible in the summer eventually what will happen is I'll get all my mud and pine needles or mulch here and when it starts to rot I can just scoop that out and use that on the various berms I'm creating to plant things on. So out here <clears throat> coming into the property <laughs> I've been doing a little bit of leveling on the dirt shared dirt driveway my property line of course starts where you can see it and So there's the one rock wall, it'll continue on to the left, and then I'm going to be moving those two four fence posts out and moving the fence back some so it's more of a Y to create the exact same thing on the other side, basically. This will make it so that people who don't know how to slow down when it's icy can smash into that rather than my fence. That, that, that'll help that a little bit. And also continues to funnel all the water downhill into that hole there, which I could potentially use to pump out for irrigation. So this is most of my week. It all seems like it goes slow because you dig a little bit, you chip away with the digging bar and you get a little further, but this is all like snot after a rain. And then soon after it dries up, it becomes something hard enough you can bounce a digging bar off of. So it's pretty, pretty horrible to work with, but every time it rains, it's time to dig. And then after that, it's back to other stuff, like raking out the yards and setting up other things but I think I'm getting pretty good if you're looking from the front gate I've got that little lawn there the next one over there on the left that you can see this little area right behind that tree and then finally one more lawn to the right and then everything else is firm so when you're sitting here at the front gate there's zero information is he home is he not home what are they doing in there are there too many people for the COVID restrictions? Whatever. Okay, they can sit outside an eight-foot gate and wonder if they haven't called or they haven't been invited. It's perfect. And I can ride around on my bicycle and go for walks and generally have a generally stress-free situation. But anyway, so this is the uh, circular driveway. You know, one way goes in, one way comes out. This goes to a perimeter trail because I have a jogging trail now. It goes around the outside of the property like so all right that's one side maybe come out of it this way That's the seasonal pond, who knows, maybe it'll become a skateboard ramp as well if I get some concrete on it, who knows, whatever. There'll be a trail, I'm still working on this obviously. More chiseling with a digging bar and a shovel. Down to the next perimeter trail, which continues to go all the way around. And the other little lawn, which gives you a nice and little view of the... I like to come out here and sit on these benches here and just like have a cup of coffee when I'm waiting for someone to show up. It's kind of nice. Anyway, last video I went the other way, so might as well go this way this time. But you see, it just keeps going. And of course, this is the north property line, so um, it's downhill from here. And that corner, I just got a new neighbor on the far end. So eventually, what I'm probably going to do is once I get this all done, I'm going to be raising the fence line here, as well as digging out more of this, which I had rototilled, and putting it on a mound over here, so again, more privacy. Anyway, come around to my little trail. Yep.
And here we are, coming back to the main driveway again. Well, the side one, the return leg. I don't use this during the spring usually because the, round, the ground gets too soft because I haven't graveled or done anything on this yet, but you can see I got the gar carpet down. The carpet basically is what keeps the tires from sinking in and put gravel over the top of that. If you put the back side up and the fuzzy side down, the fuzzy side holds onto the mud and then what ends up happening is the weight holds the carpet down and when the tire hits down on it and pushes down, it has to pull the carpet from either side of the tire in order to basically sink in the mud, which it can't do because the carpet has too much weight on it. So, and it's got traction from all the fibers. Uh, carpet tends to last quite a long time as long as it's not in the sun like this is right now, but you know, who cares? It doesn't have to look good, it just has to keep the tire from sinking. So, and then we're back to the trail and all the water will come running down through the trail until it finally hits the end and then comes up there and then comes down. The whole idea is to basically remove as much silt from it as possible before it hits the very bottom where I eventually put a sand filter and a little 12 volt RV pump to pump it out of there to somewhere it will do some good. So that's what I'm working on now. Um, of course a lot of these things that also provide privacy you're probably going to have a trail or two over the top of them so I can see how much air I can get underneath the wheels of a dirt bike. There you go. And for racing around the, around the perimeter. Perimeter track, eight laps equals three miles, so that's my daily workout. Anyway, there you go. That's this week in gardening. <laughs>